I really didn't like the idea of doing something bigger at all because I liked the intimacy of the shows that we had. The problem was that it became successful enough that we had to play bigger stages and the set became quite dwarfed by some of the stages we were playing. So I kind of had to adapt to that and make a set that wouldn't disappear on a larger stage. <laughs> I think a lot of people were still very much expecting a kind of dance party, but it's just that this album wasn't really anything to do with dance music, so I think it took people a little while to get their heads around sort of a mixture of a movie and a theatrical thing and a live show to try and, I guess, present a record that was a bit different. <laughs> as far as improving on the show, we finally had a chance to get together and, and think about how we could change things. It's about twice as big, so that in and of itself is sort of a technical upgrade. Two things that we are really aiming to add more of are that perspectival illusion of moving things or crumble them or swivel them around. And the other thing is rendering something very figurative and, and visceral and sort of real that fits inside of that geometry. There were a number of pieces in the original that take on this sort of sci-fi or mechanistic look and we're adding to that because it's definitely one of the biggest things that people really react to. I've been working on a whole other record called Two Fingers, Stunt Rhythms and even though it's nothing really to do with ISAM, we've put a couple of those tracks in the set, so it gave us a chance to work with some new material as well. I had no idea how people would react to begin with, and I still don't have any idea. All I know is that I feel really good about it, you know, and the people around here all feel really good about it, and I feel like if we feel confident about what we're doing, we feel like we're moving forward, and that's great and hopefully everybody else will feel the same.